It's been one free beef war over and other in Karnataka. The latest is the Anna Bagya scheme, much talked about before the Congress came to power in Karnataka. And remember that the Congress vowed that they will ensure all their poll guarantees are implemented at the soonest. But this scheme has run into trouble. Why? Because the Congress doesn't have rice. They're lashing out of the center, claiming they've been denied rice, the kind of procurement, the allocation that they need to implement the scheme. And so they're blaming the BJP. The Bharatiya Janata Party has responded saying that there is a clear policy in place, a clear scheme in place, and the Congress hasn't thought through the freebie promise. Let's get you all the reactions first in our report. Big cloud over Siddhu Sarkara's free food grain scheme running into a hurdle. The Annabhagya scheme of 10 kg rice to BPL families remains a non-starter, even over a month after the new government was formed. The Siddharamaya government has failed to procure required quantity of food grains. After center, discontinued sale of subsidized food grains to the state. With Andhra and Telangana said no to Karnataka government plea for rice, Punjab and Chhattisgarh offered limited amount of rice at a premium. The Congress government has blamed the center for stalling its scheme and staged protests. 7 lakh metric tons of rice is available with FCI. So they are doing hate politics. Instead of making allegations, false allegations like this, Vasudharaj Bombay should have spoken to the government of India and see that Rice is supplied. One day earlier, they permit us to buy in a... We have an order to it. So they said that we, the state may be allowed to purchase the rice. Now they tell that we have withdrawn it. Meanwhile, the BJP said that the center was providing 5 kg rice under the National Food Security Act and it was the Congress government's responsibility to obtain the extra 5 kg rice which it promised. Congress is anti-people, undemocratic. They are not even allowing us to protest. This is totally anti-democratic and there is no law and order in this state. Sudramaya government has failed. Even one and a half months. The chief minister is trying to play dirty politics by trying to blame the center and the uh, prime minister. People of Karnataka, people of the country know that the prime minister under the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana has been giving free ration to 80 crore people in the country from the last three years. While all this is happening, the Congress on the other hand is protesting in Freedom Park saying that the center has deliberately stalled the sale of rice under OMS scheme by FCI. With video journalist Madhu, Anagha Keshav, for India Today, Bengaluru. Nagarjun Dwarkanath, he's joining us live from Bengaluru on this broadcast. Nagarjun, good evening. There's a lot of talk about the Anabhagya scheme from day one, from when the Congress came out with their poll guarantees. At that point, uh, Nagarjun, did they give any clarity on how they plan to implement this promise? Because there were a lot of questions asked about economically how they're going to pull this off and the supply. Well, good evening, Akshita. When the poll guarantee was announced, there was no uh, blueprint given to the people of Karnataka as to how they would procure all it was said was for every BPL card holder, 10 kilo of rice would be given free. If a house had five people under BPL card, the house would get 50 kilos per month. That was a promise made. But what is the chief minister saying is that FCI earlier had promised that they can procure rice from FCI. But once Congress government came back to power and last week they have written to the state government saying that they can't give rice to Karnataka because of the delayed monsoons and they have to keep it for the free market because if there's a scarcity of food grains then the whole country would be uh, in a difficult spot and hence they've asked them to buy it from uh, different states and now Telangana has been approached, Chhattisgarh has been approached, Punjab government also but because of the transportation charges uh, is going to be quite high the economics will also be different behind the whole rice scheme and hence mm -hmm. Congress is in a spot right now trying to blame the uh, union government while the union government is saying we are playing fair because of delayed monsoons. Nagarjun, just one quick question from you. They've approached states. Karnataka has reached out to several states. Have any of them agreed? Well, not yet. Uh, the discussions are yeah. ongoing because negotiations going on on the price. Chhattisgarh and Punjab have agreed in principle is what we are told. 
but the final negotiation is yet to be done because the both chief ministers will have to sit down and uh, chalk out the price that the Karnataka government will buy. Uh, if it's on a higher price, the budget of the state government will also increase. Hence, uh, it's still in a preliminary stopping stage.